morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Jamila and I have decided that we're gonna do a new series, which is going to take you through a typical day of our life as a teacher. Now, within this video, we're gonna just show you how, you know, we maneuver throughout our day, how we prep for each and every single day, things that we typically go through. We're just gonna simply show you what we do every single day on average in order for our days to flow smoothly. But I am in a rush today to get to school because I have to prep a lab. Now, my kids are gonna be in class in about 20 minutes, so I really don't have too much time to get ready, but it shouldn't take too much. I just have to blend together some food, and I'll explain that to you all once I get into class. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to call Jamila. I normally call Jamila around this time every single day just to see how she's feeling, see how her drive's going. I normally try to give Jamila some time before I call her so she too can have a nice relaxation period, but I'm about to go ahead and give her a call since we're probably both near our individual schools and then see how she's feeling. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Are you listening to the breakfast club? Nah, who they got in the breakfast club today? They had, um, they used to watch back in the day called Susie Orman. All right, y'all, so I'm in the school right now. I have a lab that I have to set up. Um, here are all of my chemicals. Uh, I'm using uh, Benedict Solution, Biuret Solution, Iodine. With iodine, you have to be really careful because sometimes kids are allergic to shellfish and fish that have iodine. And with this beaker here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with some water because we're heating up chemicals today. Go ahead and get that on here. So the lab today is what's known as a murder mystery lab. And what they have to do is they have to test four different things, macromolecules, lipids, starches, glucose, and protein. They have their set of procedures and they have their resources, their lab material. I have to go ahead and blend up the solution. So that's what I'm about to do really quick. So I got my food coloring, I got my oatmeal. I have my oil because the test today is gonna to turn positive for carbs and oil. So they're supposed to guess, they have four restaurants that they have to guess where did the person eat at. And the lab, once you do the test, is supposed to show you that they, the test is supposed to show you that the person wound up dying at Olive Garden or last ate something at Olive Garden because it tested positive with the iodine test, it tested positive with the lipid test. And sorry if it seems like I'm out of breath. This is like the life of a teacher. This is like the life of a teacher. I'm like ripping and running. I gotta make some magic happen within the next five minutes or this lab is not gonna happen. Like we teachers are like some legit superheroes. gonna add some beans to it because I added too much water and I gotta chunk up make it a little bit more solid but the water substance will be still built oh yeah this is good I like how it came out even though I slightly messed it up it looks really good all right so here we go so we got the throw up Right, it looks real. The object is to have it look real thick. But once I put this on their Petri dishes as well as their test tubes, everything's gonna work out. So I need to go ahead and clean this up so the kids won't be like, man, Mr. Smith, that ain't real throw up. You just made it in the back. So I'll show you what the test looks like once the kids leave, but we're gonna have fun today, y'all. All right, y'all, so quick switch of wardrobe. I have on my robe. I also had on my goggles earlier try to you know sell the part that we were doing a lab today the lab came out really cool the kids really enjoyed it this is my powerpoint slide that i built for them and as i went through the case study that i shared with you all as well this is what they saw as a presentation so again here we have the different chemicals right we have iodine biuret benedict solution then we have the hot plate I'm just gonna do one of them because the answer is supposed to be Olive Garden. Someone did not clean this out properly, so we're gonna put this in the sink. So we're gonna take a little bit of sample. I'll put it on here. The test is supposed to test positive for two things. It's supposed to test positive for lipids. That's when you saw me put the oil in, all right? 
and it's supposed to test positive for starch. So what happens is, is when I drop this iodine on here, you see how it turns black? Blackish, purplish, it just turns really dark. So that lets us know, based upon on our iodine test, this is the unknown solution would turn bluish, dark, purple, or black if starches are present. If the color change is absent, that means that starches are not there. I had to make a quick modification to this because as I finished making it, like 30 minutes later when it was time to give out the throw up solution, it was completely solidified and I had to add more water to it. So again, that's like, that's what teaching is all about. You have to make adjustments on the fly. You have to think of stuff really quick. You gotta make adjustments. What I'm about to do, get you all set up right here. What I'm about to do is I have another lab for my bio, regular bio class tomorrow, so I need to print that out and take it to the copier room. I also need to, as I stated earlier, find and make a study guide for my AP students. My AP students today are supposed to be presenting their projects, so that should take up the majority of the class, but I want to give them a review at the end of class so they'll be ready for their first unit test. Um, the unit test is like a couple days behind because we had a pet rally and I missed them another day. But for the most part, everything is so smooth. Really smooth. Hey, honey. Hello. Hey, honey. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull up to McDonald's. Um, trying to get me a quick smoothie because my food, I don't feel like it's gonna be enough. It's my leftovers from cheesecake. So I'm about to pick me up a quick smoothie and then after that I need to rush back to the house. And luckily McDonald's does not have a line today because y'all know if it's like three cars at McDonald's, that's about a seven, 10 minute wait. Always feel good on days I get to talk to Jamila. So I'm about to give her a call really quick because my class resumes in about 20 minutes. Hers is about the same. So I'm about to talk to her and make sure that her day is going well. I don't know, getting to talk to Jamila throughout the day always makes me feel a lot smoother, less stress. I have somebody to vent to if something crazy happens throughout the day. So teachers, man, we go through a lot dealing with kids, dealing with adults. It's not easy all the time. You find ways, you know, to get through what you're dealing with. You know, whether it's hey this is the last block of the day whether it's a kid who makes you know a really good comment in class kids that participate in class there's different things that get your day going you as a teacher just have to find your niche and find that individual thing that makes you say i can keep going because if you don't then you're going to be one of those teachers who are miserable every single day complaining about you know everything under the sun because it is easy to complain about everything that comes with teaching trust me i do it all the time I'm about to enjoy this mango pineapple smoothie try it out if you never get it jamila likes the strawberry banana one as well but sometimes she goes back and forth between the mangoes but y'all continue to have a great day i'll see y'all in a minute Uh, the offense. Listen, Dak Prescott didn't have a bad game, but let's not let's not uh, uh you know. Uh... All right, y'all. Day is finally over. Um, it was a great day today. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just letting the car warm up. It is burning up. It says about 96 degrees in the car. I got the AC on blast, and I need to run to Publix. Going to the store after school. One, I need resources for a lab tomorrow. And two, Jamila, my wife, needs food for going to work. She said that today she didn't really feel too well. What she brought for lunch didn't really, you know, suffice her hunger. So she called me or texted me saying that she felt really lightheaded and dizzy. So I need to make sure that she's okay for school tomorrow. And then I'm going to head home and end my day off, end this vlog with the best part of the day when I get to see Jamila again. So, hang with me, see if we can find something for Jamila to get something to eat for tomorrow, and then after that, go ahead and wrap up this vlog. All right, let's do it. You know, Jamila try to act like she don't want me to buy these fettuccine pastas for her. 
But I know deep down inside, she really wants them. And I found Jamila. Hey, and I found Jamila. So you're hey, not gonna hey, share hey, my food hey. that I cooked here? Can't talk to them. I'm gonna go get some Chick-fil-A. Okay. So hi guys. I'm taking off my work jacket because it was so hot in my car. Um, this is kinda out of the norm. Marcel, we've done this like maybe once or twice, but normally we meet up at the house, but today I am so hungry. Let me show y'all what I had from let me show you the only thing I ate today this I had this chunky campbell's chicken noodle soup classic chicken noodle soup it was good but it did not last it did not last past like two o'clock two o'clock i started getting dizzy tired so normally i have a good a better meal than this so when i take you guys on my day in my life as a teacher then you'll see what I normally do. Today I just didn't want it. We've been working out, me and Marcel. And so I didn't want to um, eat anything too unhealthy today. Because I've just been feeling super good. But yeah, I'm hungry. So Honey is in Chick-fil-A getting us something to snack on. After I eat, or maybe during while I'm eating, I'm going to cook dinner for tonight. And then hopefully we'll have some leftover dinner to take for lunch tomorrow. Happy that the work day is over, but I feel like now I'm just ready to chill, relax. So maybe I'll show you guys what I cook. It's still a part of Marcel's day. I cook in the early days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday cook. Thursday, Friday, we probably, especially Friday, we're definitely probably going to order out. Thursday is either or. But it's good to see you guys. Hi. And I'm so excited to eat this food. Marcel is about to come out with. So excited. Let me put, let me Look. Move on. So every day when we come home, Jamila's always on the right. I'm always on the left. And we give a hug to each other in front of the mirror. We do a uh, we do a little dance every time. Hey, hey, y'all, 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 y'all. And then after that we hug. And then we'll kiss each other. And then she will tell me how much she missed me. I'll tell her how much I missed her. And then And then what? I'll go sleep on the couch. <laughs> She'll go upstairs to the bedroom. It and we'll fall asleep till nine o'clock. Eight nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> <night. laughs> we get knocked out sleep. Right. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. That was a day in the experience of Marcel. Day in the life of Marcel. Day in the life of teacher. Marcel as a teacher. And Jamila is a next, mix. next, 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 next. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Thanks you for had watching. fun? Yeah, we're cool. I had a good day today. You had fun recording? Yeah, I had a good time bringing y'all with me. Did y'all have fun seeing my classroom today? Should we do more days like this? Like, should this be like a topic for season five? Like, a mm -hmm. day in the life of Jamila Like once a week Marcia. or something? Or like, maybe... Twice? Maybe twice a week? Nah, maybe too much. Once a week when we do a lab or something? Yeah, once a week. Mm -hmm. For season five, 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 five. But, we appreciate y'all. Have a good time watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I still need to wash my face and look horrible. But have a good night. Or a good day. Goodbye.